my beautiful people, it's Eddie Cabby once again, and today, I swear, I hope this is going to definitely be the last, 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 last part of Fran Bo. We are um, already into chapter 5, so now it's just trying to get the uh, machine to wake up Mabuka and trying to figure out how to uh, put the machine together. What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm a I'm a leave real fast. Collected in here. A bottle with water. Glove. A bulb and soap. Okay, and then we have this contraption. We can go with the Mabuka. <clears throat> Creature from above, get out from Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka. Mother Mabuka to you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind. Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you have been to eat Thursda. Horrid place, I must say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safer with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. So I'm guessing those are the dead worms. So let's use this with Mabuka. She gonna wake up? Ah! Beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can't answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat something of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills looked like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you. But what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of the five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What what are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Velocus from Primeve. He told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. 
Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I'm all of those feelings, friend, Bo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Okay. So I guess we're going down even deeper into the rabbit hole. Summer, you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your? Oh, that was the nurse that we stole that needle from in the beginning. Damn, she remembers that. Did you stab all your little friends with it? What knitting needle? Are you the d dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you now, ah, you little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, uh, nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. <clears throat> number seven. Great. All right, let's go this way. Wow. Ugh. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Ha! Huh. I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm. I've been waiting for like a month. But why are you there if you've been waiting for a month? Leave! But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could help us also, too. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R.I. is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I am here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. <laughs> make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course, you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You're the- you've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm. That's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense have that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to understand each other better. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. <laughs> yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same thing as seeing everything. Oh, I know who he's talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's a uh, uh, Ocula. Uh, do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I found out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? 
Sure, if I'm still here when you get back. Okay, so now we could go to Akiwa. After I was like walking around for like a good few minutes. I was like, what the hell do I do? Okay, so let's talk to Akula. Okay, excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. Is that the voice? Um, what can I do for you? Uh, can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can until you fill this bottle. We'll do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm very problematic. I'm at... Okay. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Momika said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and will answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight Sucks are the biggest comfort in my life. I want to find him so we can go back to Athurst and be happy. Mmm, lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the creature that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Okay. Well, so we just went through some shit. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, give the tears to the creature. Here, drink this. You feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Haha, <laughs> how lovely. Let's see. <laughs> it tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. And apparently it changed his accent too. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, here you go. Oh, no matter those. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Yay. Oh, sorry. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take it on my weight. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry, that's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Ha, <laughs> lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Ah, uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why am I say call you? Why can't you just take, make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Bitch, what? Ugh, alright. I'll go and make the call then. Jesus. When you've been recording videos all day and your body's just like, please stop. <laughs> You're tired. Uh, is it this way? Yes, there is the telephono. Okay. One, zero, zero, one, wow. Apparently, I can't fucking read numbers correctly now. Two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Hmm, it's friend Bo. Uh huh, I'm available now. No, no, eh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. My god, all the back and forth stuff in this game is like ridiculous. Uh, this way. Okay. Hello.
Hello, patient number two. Can you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the doors to your right. All right, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew. Yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the Terrible Black, Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my kitty? What did you do to Dr. Deer? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a horrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. Oh, excuse me. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. What? No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I did it. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must die and suffer before becoming a star. What the fuck is happening? She couldn't have killed her parents! I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. My god, the amount of shit this girl's going through. Alright, I guess the only thing to do is leave. Fuck? <clears throat> Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty? Answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Oh, no! Why were you talking to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. What? Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Thurston, my darling. Palantris can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow, oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Jim, alright? He seems to be in trouble. What the literal fuck is going on? Dr. Jim, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Jim, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Oh, what should I do to wake him up? Fuck. Does this do anything? Okay, that was a bad idea. What's this? Hmm. Might be the liquid version of the pills? What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dune, it was me, Fran. 
Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bolser from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. That big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Is that Oswald? What is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ugh. But I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you talking like? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old guy? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucinda and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time, but why does he hunt me? Remor is the manifestation of her weaknesses, a blinded and powerful manifestation of her fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work, but I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. Fran. My dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take care, he told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants what's best but for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing you must take care of. This little traitor must go. B what the fuck? No! No, kitty! Oh my god, this bitch! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. What a bitch! Yeah, you killed her best friend. You also helped kill her parents, didn't... Oh my god, she probably freaking did. How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Ah, I hate you. Oh, shit. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! What the fuck? Oh my goodness, she's totally insane! Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. While she's still warm? What the fuck is going through this guy's head? I need to extract the brain right away. Oh my god. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dan. She was sick. 
But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Oh! Oh. Fuck, what's this voice? Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who? Who? Who are you? I'm it word. The one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto bro ecto prot palantris manakaist. Gorska. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know. I can't remember their voices. Uh, whatever. It worked. I found him. Uh, oh my goodness. Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Oh, yay. Kitty. Woo! Oh my god. Holy shit. So many emotions right now. Uh, little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes. She's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh my god. Oh, Mother Mabuka. You took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. It were Palantris, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how- You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much, please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dean, look, this is Edward and Palantris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe all this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. Oh, that sucks. I see, well, that's okay, I guess as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Philanthropist. Oh! Now let's send Dr. Dean home. Marcel Dean Onum Vecma Sudensla Echo. Goodbye, Dr. Deer. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Oh, is it over? I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Oh my god! Wow, that's really the end! Holy shit, I have like so many emotions that like I need to like sort out right now. Oh my god! Holy shit! Wow. This game, I... This was honestly one of the most satisfying endings to a game I have ever played. It, it was, it was fantastic. Definitely one of my most favorite games I can honestly say without a sheer 
of adults. <laughs> like, it really makes you think about people that actually go through this in our own actual, like, reality. And then to see it unfold in a game, it makes you really think, like, wow, people suffer from everything that you see in here. But the delivery, the feelings, the timing, everything was so well done. And I can honestly say that I have been so fortunate in playing this game and getting to experience this with you lovely people. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm so, like, I'm still so taken aback. I'm still so, so like, oh my god. This was just amazing. I really have nothing bad to say about it. Nothing but good things. This was definitely one of my favorite games ever. Oh man. So of course, please like this video and do not forget to suggest me other amazing games that you lovelies would want me to play. And without anything else, I will see your beautiful faces in the next video. Peace.